Hello, hello. May peace and blessings be with you. Beautiful soul, if you have been trying to figure out how to live stream using StreamYard into a Facebook group ever since that Facebook group API has been changed, you are in luck because I'm going to help you simplify the entire process. If you are looking for the option to live stream using Zoom, you have to check out this other video where I am breaking down that process. It's very similar, but there's subtle differences. So if you're in need of both, please check out that video as well. Okay, so let's dive right in. Okay, so I'm logged into StreamYard. I am on my home tab. And if I wanna go ahead and get a live stream started, I would normally click on live stream and I would pick which destination I wanna live stream to. Now that Facebook group is no longer an option, I have to go back and set up a new destination for a custom RTMP type of connection. And then I'll be able to live stream using that. Okay, so I'm gonna close out of here. I'm going to go to destinations. I'm gonna click on add a destination. This is a one-time setup that you'll have to do. You won't have to do that every time, but just the first time when you do this, this is what you have to do. Okay, let me actually just check something out because I do see Facebook group listed over here, but I'm pretty sure it no longer works. Here we go. It says on April 27th, 22nd, 2024, Facebook removed all third party apps and groups. Don't worry, there's still other ways to live stream to your group. If you click on learn more, it'll take you to the help doc within StreamYard and you can follow these steps to do it or I'm gonna walk you through how to do it. So, oh my gosh, there are multiple ways of doing that and I'm gonna just um, share the first one of the one of the options that I am liking. After trying to do this multiple times, I figured out a simple way and that is the way I'm gonna show and hopefully this helps you. Okay, so I'm gonna close out of here. We're gonna click on custom RTMP. We are going to set up the URL stream key nickname. Don't get intimidated by this. I'm gonna show you where you can go to grab it from Facebook and once you set this up, you'll be good to go. Okay. So I'm coming back into Facebook and I am going to click on one of my Facebook groups. This is just my incubator, my test group. This is where lots of cool ideas happen and lots of tests happen. So this is where I would normally come if I'm you know, just figuring out what to do. So you are going to pretend that this is your live group that you want to live stream into and that's the stream key you're going to set up but you can use the same stream key for other places as well but i would just recommend using it just for your groups not using custom rtmp for facebook profiles or pages because there is a benefit to using the native connection from within Streamyard and not doing custom rtmp i'm going to show you in just a bit don't worry about that just yet hold that thought and we'll come back to it Okay, so I'm gonna click on this section where it says write something as if I'm about to create a new post. I'm not really creating a new post, but this is what we're gonna pretend. Okay, so while I'm here, I'm not gonna write anything. I'm gonna click on the three dots in the bottom right corner instead. From here, I'm gonna click on live video. If you don't see live video here, no worries. You have to go to your group settings for this group and you have to enable that, make sure live video or video streaming is enabled so that you can create posts like that video live video posts like that in your group okay so i'm gonna click on live video and over here i can create an event or i can go live i'm just gonna go live and even with that we can schedule a live stream for a later date or time no worries i'm gonna show you how to do that in just a bit okay so i'm gonna click on go live don't worry, it's not gonna go live just yet. It is just getting me prepped and ready to go. Okay, so over here is where all of that information that I need for StreamYard, this is where it lives. So I'm gonna go and find that. Generally, this is the stream key that you wanna copy and paste into StreamYard. But before you do that, before you copy it, I wanna just show you something after expanding the advanced settings section. So when I do that, I wanna make sure that persistent stream key is turned on because by doing that, what's gonna happen is 
this stream key for you is not going to change with every live stream. So you can essentially reuse the same stream key over and over. This will make your life a whole lot simpler. If you don't do that, I initially didn't have it turned on and I was creating a new uh, stream key every single time. There is like one additional step you have to do. So save yourself that step. Just turn this persistent stream key on and copy this stream key and bring it back to StreamYard. And over here, paste it in the stream key section. Now it's looking for the RTMP server URL. You're going to come back in here. Your server URL is at the bottom of the screen. You're going to copy that. You're going to bring it back over here and you're going to paste it into StreamYard. And you're going to give this a nickname. I'm going to say Facebook Groups. I'm just going to give it a generic name because this is the one I'm going to use for groups every time going forward. And that's it. So there's a little, I'm going to hit add RTMP server over here. So it does add that as a destination. I just want to share a couple of different uh, nuances here or caveats here for this stream key. So once you use this persistent stream key, it can be reused, but you can only do one live stream from this account at a time. You cannot be going live in multiple places um, using the same account at the same time. So know that. Once the stream key is used, that means the um, it is live streaming from that channel and it cannot be used for other channels because it's a persistent key, it's the same key. So do know that. And the other thing is um, once you start to preview the broadcast, you have up to four hours to go live. I personally have not run into any issues with, the, with this whatsoever. I actually don't even preview mine. I just go live and let it be. But every once in a while, I do schedule ahead of time. If that is what you need to do, then you will just come in here on the left. Instead of saying now, you basically say later and you pick a date and time and you will hit that schedule live video. And you can also from here change where you're live streaming to. So for now, I pick this group. But even if I wanted to live stream to a different group, I could pick that um, if needed. Also, please make sure you add a title and a description here because this is what's gonna get posted with this live video so do add a little description in there and a good title that lets people know what this live stream is about and that's it you'll just click on schedule live video or if you were going live now you would just leave it like this and come back to it when the live stream from StreamYard starts then we'll come back in here and we'll go live Okay, let's go do that. I'm back in StreamYard. This time, the process is pretty much the same as we used to do before. I'm going to create a new live stream, but this time, instead of picking one of these fancy ones with my photos and images and all that, I'm going to pick this one, which is Facebook Groups, and I'm going to give this a title. This title doesn't really show up. I'm just going to call it Test, and I will click on Create Live Stream. It's going to show me. That's it's about to place me inside the stream yard. Hopefully the audio over here does not go away. I'm going to just mute this just in case. And should I turn off the camera? Let's leave it on. If it's letting me, why not? Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to add myself to the stream. Oh my gosh, you see multiple of me. And when ready, I am going to live stream this this live stream into my group, into my test group. Okay. When you're ready, you'll just click on that. I will say, sure. I hope this recording continues this way as well. Okay. So it is live streaming over on Facebook. Now this stream is listening for that live stream coming in. As soon as it knows it comes in, I can hit the go live button and then it will publish it into the group. Right now, it is sitting within the dashboard of Facebook and it hasn't gone live into the group yet. So far, it's only listening. StreamYard thinks it is streaming. It's sending it. Yes, it is. Facebook is receiving it, but it hasn't yet pushed it to the group yet because we haven't clicked on go live or anything like that, right? So let's say testing 
live stream. And I will hit go live. And this time it will show me, it'll take just a minute and it should live stream from here. Okay, so it is live streaming now and I can go into my group and I can interact with it and uh, send messages and things like that. And I'll see those messages coming in over here, but those messages do not go into StreamYard anymore. This is a little bit of a drawback. This is why I am saying that when you create this custom RTMP connection from Facebook, you only really want to use it for your groups and not for your pages and not for your profiles because from your page and your profile, when people comment, you can see that from StreamYard directly and you can respond to it from there. Um, but the group comments and things like that no longer come in because we're using a custom desti destination connection. Okay, so when you are finished, all you want to do is you just have to hit end stream here and it'll end it in both places. It'll end it over here and it'll also end it over here. So just know when you are starting the live stream, you have to hit go live twice, once in StreamYard and once in your Facebook live dashboard. And once you're ending the live stream, you just have to end it in StreamYard and then you're done. I will do that. I will click on end stream. And just like that, it has ended my live stream in Facebook. And it's showing me it was a minute and 25 seconds. Life is good. So if down the road I want to do another live stream, all I have to do is I am going to leave an open upload because I'm not doing anything. It's still uploading my video into StreamYard. Okay. So if I were to create a new live stream from StreamYard going forward, now that I've created a persistent key and a stream key that I can use over and over, I can just come in here and I can going forward just say Facebook group and I can do test two. I can create a new live stream and it'll place me inside the live stream. And if I hit go live, nothing will happen. Like it'll try to send it, but it's not going anywhere yet. It is basically sitting in limbo. So you just have to make sure if you ever want to do that again, you want to be ready to receive the live stream also that's coming from StreamYard. So in your Facebook group, go in here, click on the three dots, click on live video, click on go live be ready to listen for that live stream right coming in i'll just call this one test two if i go live here go live now this live video is coming through in just a second there's usually a few second delay so this live stream is coming in and i will hit go live and it'll let me go live in this group okay and when i'm finished all I have to do is just hit end stream in StreamYard and that will end it. I know I've gone over it twice because I wanted to make sure the first time you do it, it's to set up to grab your uh, persistent key and your uh, stream URL and all that good stuff. But once you are good with that, then going forward, it just makes it a whole lot easier. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will be back with another tutorial. May peace and blessings be with you.